Imagine, if you will, that I've just handed you a copy of The Guardian. Your eyes, like mine, linger on a single headline. The gay bar is in trouble. Okay, now imagine I hand you a copy of the Boston Review. As you scan this periodical from the other side of the pond, your eyes, like mine, linger on another distressing headline. The death of the gay bar. While it is, in fact, closing time for an alarming number of gay bars in cities around the globe, it's definitely not the last dance. Far from the gay bar, with its largely white and male clientele, in my new book, I would like to invite you to follow me underground to a scene of secret parties called Club Nights in London, where I did my research, where culture creatives who identify as queer, trans, and as racial minorities are reclaiming the night in the name of those too long left out. Episodic, nomadic, and radically inclusive, club nights are refashioning urban nightlife in boundlessly imaginative and inventive ways. From British bacchanals like Bat Mitzvah, Hangama, and Sink the Pink, such delightful names, to the Flower Factory in Washington, D.C., Party Noir in Chicago, Q&A in L.A., Jerk in Toronto, and Rice Cake in my home city of Vancouver, not to mention alternative queer scenes in places like Amsterdam and Berlin, Paris, and Prague. These are places where nightlife, belonging, and joy are indomitable. So what are you waiting for? Grab a cup of coffee or a flask, if you'd like, and follow me into this other world. See you there.